Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Today we are going to discuss chapter 3, Accounting Cycle. The first part is Journal. Okay, so the question is, during January 2015, the business engaged in the following transactions. So there are 5 transactions here. Okay, so required, record the above transaction in the appropriate journals. Appropriate journals means four special journals and one general journal. Okay, four special journals and one general journal. So we go to the uh, first transaction, January 2. Purchase tennis rackets from Jojo Company. 3,500 terms of 2 slash 10 and slash 30. Fred in cost 200 has been incurred and already paid. So the keyword here is purchase. Okay, so the first part will be posted to the purchases journal. Okay, the second part, fret in cost has been incurred and already paid. So the second part must be will be posted to the cash payments journal. Okay, meaning there are two journals involved here. Purchases Journal and Cash Payments Journal. So, Purchases Journal, okay, there are four columns, date, account credited, terms and amount, debit purchases, credit accounts payable. So, date, we write down January 2, okay, so accounts credited, we must write down the company's name, okay, Jojo Company, so Jojo Company. Terms 2 slash 10 and slash 30. The amount 3,500. Okay, settle for the first part. The second part, front in cost. Okay, cash payments journal. There are five columns. Date, account debited, cash, bank and purchase discount. So, date January 2. So, accounts debited. We must write down FRED IN. FRED IN. Okay. 200 in the cash column. Okay. Settle. Okay. Alright. January 5. Sold sports equipment to Mr. Dole for 5,000 terms of 2, 15 and 30. The keyword here is sold. Okay. So, this transaction will be posted to sales journal. Okay, so sales journals, there are four columns, date, account debited, terms, and amount. Debit, account receivable, credit sales. So, January 5, okay. So, in the accounts debited column, we must write down the customer's name, Mr. Dole. Mr. Dole. Terms, 215 and 30. And the amount is 5,000. Okay, settle. Okay. January 10. Receive defective inventory from Mr. Dole 200. The keyword here is receive defective inventory. So, meaning Mr. Dole has written the defective item to our company 200. So, this transaction will be posted to the general journal. General journal. So, we go to the general journal. Okay. Okay. General journal. There are four columns. Okay. Date, particulars, debit and credit. So, January 10. Okay. January 10. Debit. Okay. For this case, we must debit sales, return and allowances. Okay, sales, debit, sales, returns and allowances. Okay, 200 in a debit column. And credit, accounts receivable, Mr. Dole. Because we must reduce the amount 200 from the Mr. Dole account. Okay. 
because Mr. Do has written the defective item to our company. So credit accounts receivable dash Mr. Dole. 200 in the credit column. Okay, so debit sales return and allowances 200. Credit accounts receivable Mr. Dole 200. Okay, settle. Okay, January 10. So now January 15. Receive cash from Mr. Dole in half on of his account receivable from January 5. So the keyword here is receive cash and in half. Okay, so meaning Mr. Doe wants to uh, pay to her to us, okay, uh, from the uh, uh, transaction on January 5, okay, 5,000, but Mr. Doe wants to pay us uh, in the half, in half, so meaning uh, 2,500 only, okay, but first, the amount, 5,000, okay, then Mr. Doe has written 200. So we must deduct first 200 from 5000. So the net amount is 4800. And Mr. Dole wants to pay in half. Means we must divide by 2. So Mr. Dole wants to pay us 2400 only. Okay. After we deduct the uh the, the the defective item or defective amount here okay so 2400 and mr dole pay within the discount period okay 15 days within 15 days the discount period so meaning we must give to mr dole two percent okay sales discount we call as sales discount, 2% because Mr. Dole pay within 15 days from uh, 5 January to 15 January. Okay, so still in the, in the discount period, 15 days. So we give 2% to Mr. Dole. So we multiply by 2% here. Okay, meaning... The, uh, the sales discount is 48 sales discount okay 48 okay now this transaction will be posted to the cash receipt journal okay we go to the cash receipt journal okay cash receipt journal here there are five columns date account credited cash bank and sales discount okay so date January 15 January 15 so accounts credited okay so we must write down the uh, account receivables name Mr. Dole so accounts receivable okay dash Mr. Dole because we received the money from Mr. Dole okay so um, sales discount here okay is 48 because we give we give to Mr. Dole for 48 sales discount. So we write down here 48. Okay. Okay, now from 2400, okay, 2400, we must deduct by 48 sales discount. Meaning Mr. Dole just pay us 2, 3, 5, 2. Okay, 2352. So, Mr. Dole pay us 2352 after deduct the sales discount 48 ringgit. Okay, so 2352, we must put it that amount, put the amount in a cash column. 2352. Okay, so 2352 in a cash column and 48 in a sales discount column. Okay, settle for January 15. Okay, now January 20. Paid cash for electricity expenses, 400. So this transaction will be posted to the cash payments journal. Okay, so, so we go to cash payments journal, January 20. 
okay cash payments journal january 20 okay so we write down electricity expense electricity expense okay in the cash column 400 settle okay okay so finish then we must uh, total up the amount for each uh, journal okay sales journal so 5000 here okay so date january 31st 31 okay 3500 for purchases journal date january 31 okay cash receipt journal okay 2352 in the cash column and 48 in the sales discount column january 31 okay and a cash payments journal 600 here total and january 31 okay general journal uh, no need okay just leave it okay so that's all okay so there are uh, four one two three four special journals and one general journal okay okay that's all for this question okay the first part journal okay thank you